Hi guys, today we're here to look at the new RS Pro Soldering Station, stock number 176007. I have Vincent Bannigan along with me, who's the Senior Product Manager with RS Pro. Vincent, why is it important for RS Pro to have a, an offer within the soldering range? Well, what we do, uh, we investigate the market uh, a lot, understanding what the leading brands are doing out there, Greg. So it's hugely important for us to ensure whatever the leading brands are doing, we're following suit with RS Pro to give our customers choice when they come into our offer for an attractive price without compromising on the quality of the products. So that's hugely important to what we do in the RS Pro space. Great. So we're just about to unbox. Um, I think you'll find when we look at this product, it is pretty high end, all right? Yes, that's correct, yep. This is the first unboxing of the new RS Pro soldering station. Let's have a look, see what's inside, Vinny. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, first thing, I think as you'd expect, is the main soldering station unit. Yep. Thank you very much. You tell us a little bit about that, Vincent? Yeah, sure, just to point out a couple of things on here. So when you get this product, you can feel it's very, very robust. We've got a nice large display on here as well, and especially useful when people are using the dual channel functionality on here. So they can see things like the temperature of the soldering or the tweezers, the stroke to soldering tool as well we've got on there. And when you get onto the kind of the table, you can see it's very, very sturdy on there as well. So safe to be sitting on a bench, etc. Right. Okay, so I'll pass these to you as well. These are the obviously the holders. Okay, again, just to point out in here, nice heavy duty holders we've got. Interesting thing, this part here, as Greg demonstrated there, made of metal. So when it comes to putting the uh, tool back in there, the soldering iron tool, we've got no problems with kind of burning, etc. Like in some models where it's kind of a, a, duty, a heavier duty plastic or something similar. Okay, so dual channel. So I'm expecting to see at least two uh, probes and soldering tools here. So here we have the uh, the uh, soldering iron, uh, as you'd expect uh, with this. And then Greg also has the uh, the tweezers or the desoldering uh, element of this as well. It goes nicely into the two ports you see at the front here. Correct. And just to finish, it looks like we also have a UK plug and a European plug mini. That's right. So we want to make these uh, products as compatible as possible. So we try to ensure we're kind of given a good choice for our market so they can ensure their customers in the UK are satisfied with the product as well as the customers in the European markets as well. We've looked at quite a few different RS Pro products over the last couple of months, Vincent, and really what is it that a customer can take away with that kind of sense of certainty that when he buys RS Pro, he's actually buying a product that will meet his needs? So great question, Greg. I'm so glad you asked that because it's hugely important to ensure that we're bringing a quality product to market because we have got a brand that demands that uh, we bring a competitive price that's not compromising on quality. To ensure that quality is met, we have a compliance and engineering team where we put all our products through to ensure it's tested to the standards and approvals it needs for the various markets we service market or globally. It's been great having Vincent along today. Thanks for coming along and, and showing us the new RS Pro soldering station. Just out of curiosity, Vincent, how many actual RS Pro products are there in the range? So as it stands today, we've got just under 60,000 quality products in the RS Pro offer. And as I mentioned before, this is growing all the time. Great. What we're going to do now, we're going to take this to the lab and we're going to do some on-bench testing. But I'd just, again, like to thank Vincent for coming along and showing this, this wonderful product. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Hi Faye, thanks for, again for joining us today. Hi Greg, it's nice to be back. So if you just want to tell us a few things about the soldering station quite quickly before we turn it on, so what are the, what are the key things you'd just like to point out? Okay, I found that when I was evaluating this unit, it's a really solid, robust unit, it's quite heavy, it's not going to move across the bench, it's well constructed. The solder stands themselves, they're made of metal, so there's, as you can hear, there's no worry about burning them as you put the soldering iron back in. To change the soldered iron itself, the element, it's a really simple process. You literally just pull and that's it, it's done. And then you just fit a new one back in. Really simple, really straightforward. So that's the unit first switched on. As you can see, the first thing it does is get itself up to temperature, to the preset temperatures. And it's really quick, that's it. It's all up to temperature. So you can see that the iron itself, which is this one here, is already at 320 degrees and the tweezers, which is this one here, is already at 150. So you can swap between the two channels quite quickly by just pressing that button. So now you're controlling the iron and you can increase the temperature by pressing that button. And as you do it, you can see how quickly it goes up. There you go, it's up to temperature again already. Okay, so now I'm going to do a bit of soldering with this 
station. Um, as you can see, the iron is really nice to hold. I really like using this iron. It's well balanced. It's comfortable to use. Um, it heats up really quickly and it recovers really quickly, which again is also really important. So as you can see, it melts the solder really quickly, really easy to use. And when you're done with the soldering, you're not worried about damaging the stand at all. Um, it's metal, so you're not worried about damaging it. And the iron's stored in it really easy, so you're not worried about it dropping out or falling or damaging anything around it. Faye, one of the things we notice is this is really good quality piece of equipment. Um, so in operation, is this kind of common that you would be able to have at this kind of price point uh, product with two channels? No, not at all. Normally, it's quite a few hundred pounds more than this product would be. This is a really good price point on a really good quality product. Yeah. So what makes it actually so good then? Is it, is it the operation or is it just the, the accessories that come with it or is it a bit of both? It's a bit of both. It's the whole bundle. So it's really quick to heat up. Like I said, it's really quick to recover. And when you're doing a lot of soldering, the recovery time on the solder is really, really important. It's robust and it's easy to use, which again is really important. If you're using it all day, every day, you want ease of use. So this really is aimed at sort of like the, the professional R&D guy, quality piece of equipment, won't let you down? Absolutely. I'm really impressed with how clear the display and the interface is with this uh, product. How, how, how does that lend itself to, to when it's in use? It makes it really easy. Um, you can see it at an angle. So I'm sat at quite a sharp angle here and I can still quite clearly see all the numbers on there. Also, you've got three different preset values on each probe. So if you want to just quickly get it to a different temperature, you can pick, say, for on this, uh, we're currently sat on the tweezers and I can select 400 you can see that's changed to 400 now that's heating to 400 this tells you what state it is at heating and there it goes um, also it's quite easy to swap between the two probes so you just press that button and there it is swapped onto this one you can obviously change the temperature up and down using these buttons or you can again use the presets why is it that presets on this particular product are really important Different solder, different applications will require different temperatures. So if you're if you're swapping, especially with R and D, if you're swapping between boards or Vera board or you know a pre-soldered item, then you'll need to change the set of temperatures on the probe. And we can see how quickly it responds quite well. So really efficient in operation. So that's another point about this product. Absolutely, the speed is so impressive on this unit. To coincide with the launch of this product, the RS Pro team have kindly donated a unit for us to give away as a competition prize. We will be showcasing this at Electronica, so if you come and visit the RS Components stand, go to the Design Spark area, you'll be able to enter the competition to win this product. For our existing members not going to Electronica, simply add a comment in the comments field below, tell us what you would use the product for, but make sure you click the T's and C's. Good luck.